one, two, three. Ready? Good day. I am Janelyn and Vinlan, and I am the speaker for today. For today's lesson, we are going to know what are the different reading strategies and what are the purposes of reading. So before that, we must know what is the meaning of strategies. Strategies. Strategies differ from reader to reader. The same reader may use different strategies for different contexts because their purpose for reading changes. Ask yourself, why am I reading and what am I reading when deciding which strategies to try? Next is, what are the purposes of reading? People read different kinds of texts, including scholarly articles, textbooks, reviews, for different reasons. Some purposes for reading might be, first, to scan for specific information to scheme to get an overview of the text, to relate new content to existing knowledge, to write something or often depends on a prompt, to critique an argument, to learn something, and lastly, for general comprehension. So, it is important that you adjust your reading strategies to your purposes of reading. Here's how to do it before reading. First, establish your purpose for reading. Second, speculate about the author's purpose for writing. Review what you already know and want to learn about the topic or see the guides below. Review the text to get an overview of its structure, looking at headings, figures, tables, glossary, etc. Predict the contents of the text and post questions about it. If the authors have provided discussion questions, read them and write them on a note-taking sheet. And lastly, note any discussion questions that have been provided sometimes at the end of the text. Next, during reading. During reading, you should annotate and mark sparingly sections of the text to easily recall important or interesting ideas. Second, you should check your predictions and find answers to post questions. Third, use headings and transition words to identify relationships in the text. Fourth, create a vocabulary list of other unfamiliar words to define later. Fifth, try to infer unfamiliar words meaning by identifying their relationship to the main idea. Sixth, Connect the text to what you already know about the topic. And lastly, take breaks. Split the text into segments if necessary. That is for today. Thank you for listening. And again, I am Janeline and Vilnuan. Goodbye.